Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but Pi Digits, made by Omar. Thank you very much for that. Dota 2, but I replaced most of the numbers with their corresponding Pi Digit, while keeping the number of digits from the original number. For example, the value 100 has three digits, so it would become the 100th, 101st and 102nd digit of Pi, 214. This old one also includes heroes and units. So, uh, it's a very simple, very silly numbers mode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Before we get into it really quickly, I'm still working on my lighting. I know it's a little whack. The lamp is a bit too bright. Uh, I, I bought like a little light bulb for it that I thought needed to be bright, but it's turned out to be too bright. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna fix it. I just need to go to the store and get a different light bulb. Hey, it's a work in progress, but I, I do like the little lamp. I think it looks very nice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the game. We are Slaudar. Let's have a look then. Guardian Sprint, bonus movement speed. Nice. Very good. Uh, gonna max this one out, of course. Slivering Crush, radius stays unchanged. And we've got movement slow, attack slow. Slow duration, damage. Ooh, goes up to 665. That's pretty good. Uh, Bash of the Deep after five attacks. Ah, that's unfortunate, but it's 800 bonus damage at level two. And then Corrosive Haze, armor reduction, 89 and level one. So that's pretty good, particularly with our 800 bonus damage. So how are items? Iron Branch is plus four. Gauntlet or Strength Circle is really bad. Crown is kind of okay. I guess we just buy a bunch of branches. What about Bracer? <laughs> okay, so Bracers give a little bit of strength. Um, we want things that have two digit values, right? Like that's like the main thing as soon as possible. Ah, this is, uh, no, no. Close of Haze is 26 attack speed. Well, we'll go ahead and pick up one of these. We are a little bit of a jerk with that, right? And then, uh, just get a bunch of, bunch of these, bunch of that. Wait, am I going mid as louder? Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna just sprint into the mid. Sorry, I was still looking around at things. Took me a little bit to really get going. <laughs> Took me just a moment to have everything figured out, but we are here now. And there is a Juggernaut who is uh, sadly already level two. Okay. All right, I just, just let me get, there you go. So after five attacks, my next attack does 800 bonus damage. <laughs> yep, sure did. <laughs> All right, no, that's okay. I am actually fine with that. Like, I think I just outfight you. Cause I uh, sure do a little bit of damage here. So, two digit things, like power threats, right? Two digit values, that's what we want. Oh, I'm this on. Well, I don't like that. But I'm here. 530 damage from this. Where is this juggernaut? Okay, I'm just gonna hit you. <laughs> Alright, we've got one level of our corrosive phase. I'm gonna say hello to Roshan really quick. We're just gonna say hello to our good old friend, our good old buddy. Check his bash chance. 23%, we're good. Clap him. And then real clap him. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god, that was brutal. We can get one more level into this, right? It's less slow, but it's a bit more damage, and I think that's fine. And then we're gonna just max our Guardian Sprint. I mean, obviously, we need to max that out. I'm sorry, it's just priorities. Alright, hello. I didn't check the respawn time on this. Two seconds. Okay, we're good. Hello. Let me just hit you. It's just, you're just missing. There you go. You're just missing a little bit of armor. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you're just missing a tiny little bit of armor. Any talents, they are normal. Okay, let's get Guardian Sprint maxed out. Nice, thank you. Let's have a look at what we can find here. Is this good? Perfect! 
Some very nice status resistance. I appreciate it. No, I'm definitely going for that. That seems like a very strong item. Also, 89 oil stats. That alone makes it kind of nasty. I think uh, plus 10 turns into 89. So, very, very effective item there. Let's get the Guardian Sprint cooldown reduced. Pick up our Aghanims. Very good. So now we scoot very, very quickly. Hello. Would you like some minus armor? Hello, friend. Would you like some minus armor? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> oh, no. And I suppose at this point, there isn't really anything else that needs to be leveled up, right? No, no. No, we're keeping all as they are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some stats. Hello. Oh, the minus armor is just absolutely filthy. It's just so much. It's so, so, so much damage. Because you just cut into them and it hurts. It hurts. Real bad. So what else can we find here? Well, this one seems kind of fun. And by kind of fun, I mean like, whoops. Somebody's about to have a bad time. <laughs> Like this juggernaut. <laughs> oh, I don't think we can catch up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. oh, 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 oh. I'm guessing this will be worse. It is worse, yeah. And this should be equally good. So I guess we just upgrade it. It doesn't really make much of a difference. The upgrade isn't that good. But... There isn't really a reason to not upgrade. And I think for this particular mode, that is plenty of reason to go for it. <laughs> Let's go, Slaughter. Oh, hello, friend. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... That's just what's gonna happen there, I suppose. How good is a Desolator? Not that good. Not that good. What about an Assault Cross or just a Blightstone? Blightstone is pretty mediocre. Orb of Corrosion is actually kind of alright. Kind of alright. Oh, hello. Yeah, you just give it your best shot. I have faith in you. Come back. Come back. God damn it. Alright. I should have probably just used the clap for the bonus armor, but I don't know. Wanted to see if I can survive it, you know? How about this? 1% max health region. Yeah, that's not gonna be that good. Soul Cross. Soul Cross is kind of nice. 89 armor. 50% spell I steal on this one. Cooldown reduction stays the same. We can get more status resistance from Saint and Yasha. I guess I'll go for this. It also is a lot of movement speed. So we're just like permanently hasted now. Can I not break movement speed limit while I'm in the water? Or is that something that was removed? Ah, I guess you can't do that anymore. Look at that. All right. Well, Sanjin and Yasha, we move quickly enough anyway, right? Time to maybe put them out of their misery. Got our big boy Slaughter. Just gonna, like, come crushing in. <laughs> Got way too much status assistance for this nonsense. Woo! Okay. Ooh, wow. I thought I was going to be fine, but not at all. Almost nothing breaks movement speed limits. Yeah, it's just that uh, Guardian Sprint used to. It just, that was a thing that it had. You could use Guardian Sprint while you're in water and you would just sip past the movement speed limit. Wouldn't be a problem at all. And, uh, you know, like, Dota changes. Dota changes. And sometimes... Sometimes it changes a little too quickly for my old brain. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. Well, we're coming in here. 
Take down all of this. Hello, friend. Okay, healing, healing, healing. No, bring him back, shit. <laughs> I was actually doing really well until the Pudge missed the hook and saved the Juggernaut as opposed to hooking me. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get that crush cooldown. It's only got four seconds now. It's pretty good. Okay. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I gotta just kind of like apply my water. Because as long as I'm in the water, I have a huge amount of status resistance. So, I'm safe in the water. I'm not so confident I'm safe outside the water, but I'm definitely safe in the water. Alright, we got this one. The Hex, yeah, that's scary. Shit. But we're in the water. We're in the water. We're safe in the water. Get him. Nice. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> we're safe in the water, friends. We're safe in the water. Turns out big crits with big minus armor. Kind of brutal. Well, you gotta kind of come and stop me here, friend. Alright. I'm waiting. Come on. Do it. Do it. There's a creep coming. You gotta kill me before the creep gets you. <gasps> oh, they did it. They did it. <laughs> Oh no, maybe I'm gonna regret this. Maybe I should have just gone in there. Ooh, I am gonna summon an evil demon. And you should summon a thumbs up on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's uh, really annoying. I get so many spam messages now from scammers who are trying to like get me to install some sort of like keylogger or some shit like that. No, this is something that I've, it's very, very curious. I guess it makes sense, right? Because like there's a lot of scammers out there on the internet. Be careful, friends. And uh, what I've been getting a lot of, I've been getting a lot of emails from scammers that are clearly specifically targeting YouTubers. Like that's what they are interested in. Because it's uh, like, hey, we want to do a sponsorship deal with you. And they pretend to be like a legitimate company. Sometimes they even put effort into it. And uh, one time I responded to it because I was just curious what it is. And what they then do is they actually like try to make it sound like a legitimate offer. It's just got even more typos than is usual for marketers. You know, like marketers are pretty bad at English already, but... I mean, there's a certain, certain limit to it, right? But anyway, and um, what their end goal is, is to get you to download some sort of, some sort of, um, like, what is it, like Dropbox Drive or, or what, what is the, the other one? The, it's like the, the shady sharing thing. <clears throat> but I don't know. The point is that it's clearly a scam that is targeted specifically at influencers. Oh no, wow, got blown up. That's who it is aimed at. That's what it is about. It's not really about anything else. And that's very curious to me because it's a very small demographic, right? There's not that many people. But I guess it kind of makes sense to me. Media shit, yeah, that kind of stuff, right? Um, but. It kind of makes sense to me because if you get, for example, if you were to get to me and you get my YouTube channel, right? And you manage to log into and get Keylog or make it past all of the two-factor authentication, all of that shit. Um, 
I mean, like, you kind of have a pretty significant hostage situation there, right? And I would kind of be forced to pay you money. And uh, so what I'm basically saying is be careful out there, kids. There's a lot of scammers on the internet. And if something sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Also, if there's a lot of typos in an email, then it's probably not from Samsung. <laughs> Just like another note there. <laughs> anyway, let's get into another game. Okay, cool. We got ourselves Timber Saw. Well, let's have a look then. We have Whirling Death. Damage, 841 stat loss percent. 89 percent. Oh, dear God. Well, uh, luckily there's only one strength hero on the enemy team. Well, luckily for them, right? Uh, but that Magnus is about to have a really bad time. Timber Chain has quite a lot of speed, quite a lot of range, and decent damage. We actually need to max this one out, I think. Because, like, 850 damage isn't that good if the latch range is just that short. Reactive armor. Bonus armor 4 at level 2. Max stack 79 at level 2. Bonus HP region is kind of low. I guess we gotta go for level 2 there, right? And uh, Chakram. Chakram does quite a lot of damage. Oh my god, that is filthy at max level. Alright, well, we have a loose idea of what we're going for, right? Let's get ourselves some stuff. We probably want to just pick up some iron branches again. I think that the Orb of Venom was quite excellent. So we're going to go and grab that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and run into a lane. I'm not sure which lane yet, but I guess mid. By Voodoo Mask. 79% lifesteal. 89% lifesteal, yeah. This right here is only 26%. This is 50%. I mean, 50% is pretty good. But the problem with this one is it costs 89% of your current HP to activate. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Wudo Mask seems really nice. 89% spell life steal. Not sure if it's that great to only get spell life steal and no stats, because stats are generally really important. But you know what? We'll see. So, there's not that much of a point to leveling this up already, right? It's kind of our lowest damage ability. We want reactive armor at level 2. Haha, <laughs> no more in for you. <laughs> oh, I can just like sit here now, right? Because I have up to 79 reactive armor stacks. So it's pretty much impossible to actually uh, kill me. Look at how much armor I've got. I can just sit here at the tower. Like, that's totally fine. No, get back here. Damn it. Alright, come here. I want all of these creeps. Give me all of them creeps. Oh. It's not enough to kill. Chakram level 1 is still really nice. It's still really powerful, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Does it not have any travel speed? <laughs> oh, what's going on there? No, I just recalled it? I may have just double-clicked it. Okay. I think we might be fine. It, it might have just been me messing it up a little bit. What is our fire breathing anyway? Damage per second, 86. That's actually really good. Because, you know, it's tower damage. We can uh, do 69% building damage. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> so we don't really want to level this up anymore. Oh, no. No! Get away! <laughs> okay, so first of all, I feel kind of bad about this, but you have really brought this upon yourself. <laughs> okay, yes, get near me. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. So this right now does 800 damage, but we just can't keep it at this level. We need a higher one. We need a higher level so that we have the additional range. Sell this, get ourselves an Agonims. So we have two Chakrams. Which are, again, actually very powerful. They are kind of slow, but that's okay. They can be slow if they want to. Oh no, talking about being slow. No! <laughs> well, I guess I can like kind of use this as like a backup option, right? I can be super aggressive now. K 
can I? I kind of assumed this would latch me eventually, but maybe it won't. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay. No, it doesn't actually travel that far. I thought it would travel really far. Latch range 8,000. I guess that's like a separate thing. A thing? I wonder what that means then. We don't want level 2 of this too badly. Okay. So I throw this here. And now I can go in aggressively. Because it's just gonna... Just gonna drop me, uh, drag me back. Alright. We're chilling. We're chilling. Damn it. We want spell I steal. Thank you. And I'm thinking a Sange and a Kaya. Which will be worse than a Kaya and just a Sange. <laughs> no? Our spell lamp is this. Okay, so we kind of want a Sange and then a Kaya and a Sange. I guess we could get a Sange and a, a Kaya and a Yasha, maybe? That seems good. Let's get a Sange, just a casual Sange, and then a Kaya and a Yasha. That's our strategy. Hello. Ooh, big Dagon. Big Dagon. I don't want more Sange because it has 79% status resistance. And that's really good. Also, are you serious? This is on the F? Why is Chakram on the D? This is annoying me. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is very upsetting that the flamethrower is just in between the two Chakrams. Just, <laughs> why, why, why is the flamethrower here? <laughs> oh, classic bell. So this is a lot of damage. It's gonna be a ton of damage once we actually max it out. And yeah, there's no point to leveling up these. I guess actually... Mm, no, 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 no. Because this is four armor. Right? And the four armor just beats pretty much everything there. Alright. We'll sell this. Yasha and Kaya. So now we are a little bit faster. We're not so slow anymore. And we're not quite the level we want to be just yet. <laughs> Shit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> this dude needs to learn his lesson. Okay, we leveled this up. Ah, oh, shit. Bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. Uh, okay, I gotta get these. Oh, no. There you go, there you go. Alright, slow him down, slow him down, slow him down. Oh, resurrection? Not here. Yeah! <laughs> okay, very good. Small problem is that I'm outrunning my chakrams, but that's okay. Let's get more chakrams slow. <sighs> Take down these guys. We have a lot of money now. We'll sell this. Is Hex any good? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's just normal Hex. We could get Gleipnir. Hmm. I want to, like, stop people from running away. E-Blade. It's pretty strong, slow on that. I think I'm just going to get a Hex, though. Like, Hex is always the surest way to stop things from fucking about too much. So how far does this travel now? Pretty far. Yeah. It's not as cool as I was hoping it would be, though. Okay. Wait, no. No, are you really fast as a pig? Damn it! <laughs> Oh, no, they are really fast as a pig. OK, 
Okay, this was also a mistake. I'm just gonna go ahead and come here so it just immediately dodges me. Oh, that's a mistake. You don't want to just sit there. Oh, BKB! Crazy stuff, dude. Yeah. You know, me sitting here actually is totally fine with me. I'm very good at just sitting here. <laughs> no, I think Hex is really bad. Like, it's just not enough movement speed reduction. Okay, I gotta go now. I'm a little worried about the damage being stacked up. Okay. Let's get mana region. So, Hex, not so good. Gleipnir should definitely work. Abyssal Blade is probably also really good. I can just like hit him once, get a stun, and then use the active, and that should be alright. Or, you know, I just use the active right away. Let's get an Octarine Core just for some lower cooldowns that is still useful. Dork is basically like walking, except I'm stunned and can't change direction, yeah. So it's uh it's kind of like walking, except much worse. <laughs> Would you like to have a much more terrible version of walking? <laughs> Alright, fire time. Burn down this building. Burn it down, my friends. I say burn it down. Alright. More chakram. Nice. So I kind of thought that most of Timbersaw's damage was the uh, damage over time component of the Chakram. But it seems to me most of his damage is actually the pass-through effect. Maybe it's because everybody in this mode has really, really high movement speed that it doesn't work as nicely. But like when you get the... When you get the Chakram to actually connect properly, then yeah, it's crazy good. I'm just gonna hit him and hope I get more stuns. BKB, BKB, run out! Got it! Alright. No, come here. Here's another friend. Good, easy peasy. And cut him down. You survived! That is actually very impressive, I have to admit. So this is now 99% stats loss for the poor Magnus. <laughs> Read the creep's aura. Which one? This one? Time warp aura. 89% cooldown reduction. Yeah, I was wondering why it felt like I could spam a little bit, but I guess there we have it. Big creep, dude. Oh, wow. Kill the courier. Got so, so much armor power. Take down this building. Take down the ancient. And we done it. And we have done it. Well done. Wasn't that some fun? I hope you guys had a good time too. If you did. Don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.